Hello everyone, welcome again. TCS MQT has been announced now. Uh, a lot of YouTube videos, even ours that we uploaded on YouTube, gave the wrong pattern because those are like one, last year's pattern and the pattern has drastically changed this year. So we are going to discuss individually each and every section and lot many cookie points as well. So let's not waste any further time and then help you with the TCS MQT syllabus and test pattern. Now, one more thing is make sure that you follow us on all, all the social media channels. There are a few companies like Amazon, Flipkart, Cisco, which are hiring for 2023 batch. Link to this in the description of the video. Right, again, uh, giveaway, top three comments will get Prep Insta Prime subscription absolutely, absolutely free. Now, this year TCS has, pain, has changed its pattern a lot. This is the latest pattern. So they've introduced one called as foundational section which this section is very very important if you want to clear the ninja role which is 3.6 lpa this section is important if you want to clear the digital role which is 7 lpa right so very very important here now there are section called as traits which is more like a psychological uh, or, or a psychometric test numerical ability which is quantitative aptitude verbal ability reasoning ability all of them have 25 minutes they've not announced the number of questions but since we are partnered with tcs uh, as all of you know uh, that these are the expected number of questions till now they've not finalized upon it and then there is going to be advanced quantitative ability and advanced reasoning ability this is basically same as numerical ability and that so basically numerical ability and quantitative ability is exactly the same so it's quants or aptitude and reasoning ability, reasoning ability here as well. It's just that the difficulty level of these questions is going to be a little higher because they want to understand are you good, and good enough for a higher digital 7.7 uh, LPA role and advanced coding. So two questions, one would be moderate difficulty and one would be high difficulty question from data structures and competitive coding. We'll cover the detailed syllabus of each of these sections here. The total duration of the test would be 166 minutes. You can give the test either from home you can also give the test from the TCS test center, but we recommend giving it from a test center because giving it from home anyways, it's impossible to t uh, cheat. I will also, I have a slide prepared for that. So it's impossible to cheat. Uh, We'll, we'll see, see in the slide. And second thing is because uh, at home, if you are facing internet issues or some glitch or their server, as you know, TCS servers are really bad. Uh, so if something happens, you'll not be able to contact them and basically your candidate ends here, ends there and there itself. But in the case of in-center, they will make sure that everything runs for you smoothly. So in-center would be much better for you. Now, very, very important thing here is that the interface is going to look like this. This is in fact, actual question from their previous year they'll also have an on-screen calculator so if you see here closely there's a calculator button here if you click upon it a calculator like this would pop up and you can use that to solve mathematical equations etc etc so generally it will only be relevant for numerical ability and advanced quantitative aptitude section now a few very important things before we move ahead to the law uh, you know in depth topic wise syllabus for each of the section there is going to be no negative marking uh, section switching is not allowed so you can't go from logical uh, from let's say the part a which is foundation to the part b which is advanced subsection switching is no, also not allowed that is you can't go to logical to verbal or verbal to quants however question switching is allowed that is for example you can go to questions from question 7 without solving it can go to question 8 or even question 11 directly as you can see here, you'll just click here. And if you want to go to question seven, directly click here. So that's pretty simple. One more thing is browser tab shifting is not allowed. The exam will end immediately if it, it uh, detects that you've switched the browser. So disabling all the pop-ups uh, pop uh, that come in Chrome, etc., etc., which you have to cross and all would create problems. Last year, this same issue has happened. Now, very importantly, when you give the test from your home, it will ask for you your video and that is your microphone and camera permission. It will be monitored by an AI and it will understand the AI is good enough to understand that, okay, you are cheating. You're not looking at the screen. Probably you're looking at your phone. I'll show you setup, perfect setup that TCS has recommended. Uh, so as when you're giving the test from home, you can do that setup because sometimes you'll be solving something by looking down, by writing things on the pen. So they may be confused that, okay, are you cheating or are you looking at your phone, right? So the setup will make it clear. I'll help you understand. Also, there is a tab 20 people per person. So one person is given 20 tests or people who are giving tests from home. He's invigilating that and you will not get selected if you are cheating, right? Now, this is very, very important uh, now because I was saying, obviously, as you know, that there are these sections. There are these sections, uh, foundational section and advanced section. Now, 
make a note of it you can pause the video have a look upon it because what i'm going to explain has a very important relevance to this particular table so let's move ahead so what happens is first you register for tcs we've made a registration video so don't register without watching that video because uh, two things first of all uh, uh, you'll fill the form incorrectly and your hall ticket will not get generated second thing is that uh, uh, form which will take one hour for you to fill also serves as your resume so if you fill that uh, not so good so in that case they'll not our tcs interview will not ask you to share your resume they'll already have your system generated resume from the form that you're filling and you cannot edit that form so we made a video by step by step analysis wherein you can make uh, wherein people generally make mistakes we help them uh, to you know not make mistakes and fill the form correctly so that they get their hall ticket so you'll do the re registration then the online test would happen now obviously there are two sections one is foundational section one is advanced section right now if you are in the top 10 percent of both of them so top 10 percent in section a that is foundation top 10 percent in section b that is advanced so in that case you will have an interview which will last 45 minute to one hour and that will decide that will have three outcomes either the best performers will get directly the TCS digital offer, which is 7 LPA. The good performers, I'm not saying average performers. This year, TCS is going to hire less. Last year, they hired 1 lakh people. This year, they are going to hire 40,000 people, right? Uh, because uh, of recession and so on, so on, right? So if you do good, so in that case, you will get, so based upon your interview performance, you will get Ninja offer, which is 3.6 LPA. So again, top 10% in both of them, doing very very good uh, in the interview gives you a 7 lpa offer doing good in the interview gives you ninja offer however if you are not in the top 10 percent but basically in the top uh, 25 percent that is uh, uh, 75 to 90 percent in both in the foundational section also and in the advanced section also so in that case because you are not in the top 10%, but you performed good to be in the top 25. So in that case, your interview will happen, but doesn't matter how good you perform or how bad, uh, uh, how great you perform and how good you perform, there will be only one outcome or two outcomes. That is, you'll only get the Ninja offer. So practically, you will not get the digital offer from here. Or basically, there's one more outcome that is you will get rejected. Right, if you don't perform well in the interview, that's also relevant for this. That's also relevant for the TCA digital interview, right? So if you're in the top 10% only, then your interview will help you to get the digital offer. Uh, apart from that, Code Vita was also one of your chance. Now, very, very important thing. So this is the TCS uh, interview preparation or, or basically they, the interviewers are filling a form wherein they give you marks out of certain traits. Now, I know that you can't see this particular slide. But what we created is on our uh, this on this particular Instagram page somewhere how TCS may, digital makes decision to hire you. We've broken this particular thing down. So again, this link can be found out on our Instagram page. So this is how they give you marks in to you in the interview. There are like approximately 65 marks and 5, 5, 10, 10, 20, 20 marks for each of subject knowledge, problem solving, additional competency, digital skills, etc. So make sure that you check that link of our Instagram page in the description of the video. Right. Now, next thing is how do you sit for the exam? Very, 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 very important. Last year, people performed really, really well, but they did not follow the structure. So TCS was not sure if they are, if they are, you know, looking down to solve a particular question or looking down to cheat from the phone. And then they got rejected, did not get any interview calls. So ideally your camera should give you, give them a complete focus on your face. Also your pen and your notebook. But basically this is the pattern for numerical ability that is in the part A and advanced quantitative aptitude, which is basically part B. So the syllabus for this particular section remains the same. So if I'm to show you in the slide, uh, so I'm talking about this section and this section here. So as you can see, even if the time and number of questions and time and number of questions are different, but the syllabus for both of them is exactly the same because both of them are aptitude or quants, right? However you call it. So the, the only difference is for numerical ability, the level of difficulty would be average. And here, the level of difficulty would be very high, very high. That 
out of 10 questions even if you solve 4 that is 40 percent you will do well here let's say out of i don't remember the exact number of questions i'll have to go to the back slide but out of 10 questions here in the numerical ability section you have to at least solve eight now how you can uh, prepare for that is first of all all the previous year papers are available on prep insta prime sorry prep insta.com now also we've launched the tcs nqt course we'll talk more about that a little later in the video which is like 175 plus courses under one subscription the course duration is approximately 200 hours covers the whole syllabus including coding competitive coding dsa so for the placement paper all you do is you just search tcs placement papers and let's see which website comes on top oh prep and stars website comes on top by the way right so perfect uh you know, you'll find all the previous year papers. I'll not uh, go into how do you find it. Obviously, you'll be able to navigate through the website. There are quizzes in the previous year format. So you can click, click upon probability here and then pro you'll, you, you'll get all the previous year questions of probability with uh, good analysis. So for example, you can see the explanation. But apart from that, you can also see a performance. So for example, I solved here. So, uh, you know, 0% of the people solved before me because I immediately clicked upon the options, right? So if there was some other question, so in that case, as you can see, uh, here it says 7% of the people solved this question before me, 92% of the people solved this question after me. So very, very important for you uh, to prepare from, you know, so that you can get the feel of exam and then you can see your performance real time rather than reading from a book, right? You can compare your performance with others in real time. Also, there are video solutions here as well. Now, in the case of verbal ability, uh, this you can take a screenshot of it. I'll not go into deep of it. Number of questions and everything. Again, same thing. Prepinsta.com, all previous year paper. Prepinsta Prime, uh, the TCS MQT course already has that. Again, same thing. Reasoning ability and advanced reasoning. Uh, the syllabus more or less remains the same for both of them. It's just that this would be of average difficulty, but this would be of very, very high difficulty. Right. So that's one thing about it. Now, let's talk about coding. So coding and traits are the two things that we've not discussed yet. Now, in the case of coding, the first question would be, I'll not say easy, but I'll say, uh, you know, you can solve that in 20 minutes if you're a good programmer. So the questions would be like, as you can see, basics of numbers, looping function, recursion array, number series. We've made a video on our YouTube channel discussing the previous year questions. So you'll find that particular video here. So you can take a screenshot of it. Ideally, for question one, I'm right now just talking about question one. How can you prepare for it is prep and start top 100 codes, basic coding and intermediate coding course. So uh, I'll show you very quickly. So for example, prep and start top 100 code, you just Google on prep and start top 100 codes and you land this particular page. So if you solve all of these 100 questions, ideally you will be able to solve all the 100 or all, 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 all the questions that will come in question one. Second thing is under prep and start prime subscription, there are two courses which are basic coding and intermediate coding, which is like a precursor to DSA in C and C++. So ideally, these two courses, video courses will prepare for you approximately 30 hours is the duration of these two courses together. So that's how basically this. Now to come to the second part, this is very important. Here, the level of difficulty would be, to be honest, uh, I hope that a lot of you would have given TCS Code Vita. TCS Code Vita. So the level of difficulty of question two would be very similar. Not the uh, not the most difficult TCS code beta questions, but the average one, like the third and fourth one, which is also difficult for most people, even CSID people. So this is the syllabus here. You can take a screenshot of it. As you can see, there are basic stuff. Then there's DSA from here to here, and then from and then from here to here, there is competitive coding. So competitive coding. And here there is DSA and basic stuff, right? Now, how do you prepare for that is? So uh, first thing is for basic preparation, what you can do is go to prep and star and go to prepare programming uh, data structures and or either competitive coding and advanced coding. You'll find all the good competitive coding things. So for example, bubble sort, right? So bubble sort in C would open and you'll be able to see all of these codes here uh, with different methods of solving it, with different uh, MCQ ways of solving it. And uh, the compiler is also integrated perfectly here. So as you can see, this is pretty cool, right? Now, uh, so that's one way on how you can go about it. Then competitive coding, TCS NQT course, TCS code beta course. Make sure that you practice 
all the t previous year TCS code beta questions. So for example, very importantly, TCS code beta uh, coding questions. The exact the last year, two questions in two slots got repeated from TCS code beta questions in the TCS digital paper. We are also expecting the same thing here. So for example, if you go here, you'll find Trepinsta again on top. Solve all of these questions which are mentioned here. Very, very important for you. And apart from that, obviously, we have two courses on Prep Insta Prime, which is data structures in your preferred language of C, C++, Java, Python. This is approximately 40, 50 hours of course that you complete. And then comparative coding course, which is available again in all different languages. Once you do that, then you have to do two things. Uh, TCS, MQT or Ninja course. There are previous year questions uh, uh, in this particular course here. And apart from that, I guess TCS code beta. Yeah, so here code beta course. So practice all of these questions here. This would approximately be, so this course would be approximately 40 hours. Comparative coding again would be 40 hours. Uh, the TCS NQT, the whole course is pretty big, but the coding part of previous year questions of this would be approximately 10, 15 hours. TCS code beta previous year coding question solutions of all the uh, thing would be approximately 20 hours. So this is what you have to give it for it. Uh, apart from that, obviously you can Google. So for example, TCS coding questions, right? So you can Google about it. Obviously prep Insta website comes on top. Prep Insta website comes on top, uh, second position also. So everything would be available here. Now, one error or one minor error that I made. So this is not advanced coding. This is the traits part. So traits, you will have questions like these. Do you believe in hard work? And then there will be four options. Can you handle the pressure? Do you believe in work-life balance? And then there would be questions like these. So to be honest, there's no right answer or wrong answer here, but uh, people will get rejected in this round or because of this, because they're not clearing the cutoff. Uh, we have discussed this in our course. In fact, we'll make a YouTube video about it uh, on why do people get rejected in psychometric round even if there is no right answer or wrong answer. To be honest, there's some mathematical and statistical uh, uh, marking system even in a psychometric test that rates that, okay, these 20% of the people are the best suited for workplace. So uh, if you will make a few pointer video on our YouTube channel very soon, if not, then the video, a very large course is already available in Prep Insta Psychometric. Uh, uh. Now, uh, all the previous year, our questions are available on Prep Insta Prime. So make sure that you do check out that. So uh, just to help you on how do you prepare for it. So obviously you can find all the previous year papers on Prep Insta, right? So you can go to all platforms and then TCS Ninja, NQT, etc, etc, all of these companies previous year papers you can find here. But if you want courses and everything, we have approximately 2 lakh people who have already subscribed to Prep Insta Prime. So you can see the quality of the video here. There are 200 plus courses just like Netflix. We've also partnered with TCS, so you'll get one certification from Prep Insta and also from TCS Ion and also CoCubes, etc. So there are multiple things. Courses like Machine Learning, Artificial Intelligence, Cybersecurity, Ethical Hacking, C, C++, Java, Quants, uh, TCS ITP, uh, Micro Courses, Projects, Computer Science Subjects, and the best part is it's pretty cheap i guess uh, it starts from three months and goes on till fourth year the prices are between uh, 2000 to 5000 6000 something like that so you probably you love it uh, i would recommend you to check that once what you can do is if you want to check the tcs nqt syllabus just go to the tcs nqt course click upon check syllabus and then you'll be able to check the whole syllabus and everything that's covered in the course. If you want to check demo videos, you can click here and then all the demo videos of the course, you will be able to check on this particular page. So that's pretty much about it. Uh, make sure that you do subscribe to our YouTube channel because we'll be posting a lot of videos. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. You can just message me on, uh, this is my ID, so Atulia Kaushik. So you can message me here on my personal ID and I'll be able to help you with that. So thank you so much. All the very best. Make sure that you do comment because we have a top three comment wherein you'll get prep and stuff. I'm absolutely free. Uh, make sure that you do subscribe and follow our Instagram channel. Thank you.